Hello guys, I've got a very interesting video for you today. In this video, I'm going to show how to install a fully loaded build on Kodi on your Fire Stick device in just a few minutes. So if you want to learn how to watch the latest movies, TV shows, live TV, pay-per-views, and much more absolutely free, then this video is going to be for you. Keep in mind that this build will only work on the latest Kodi version go to 21.2 and not on other previous versions. I want you to watch the full video till the very end, as even a single mistake will ruin the whole process. So make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Alright, so the first step to this whole process is to head over to the Find icon, then press the center button on your remote to select it. Here it will open a keypad for you to type in the app name. We'll be looking for the app called Downloader. You don't need to type in the whole name, just the first few letters and the app will show in the result. Head down and select it. Okay, so this is the app we need. If you click on it once, it will take you to the page where you can download the app. From here, you'll need to click on the Get option or Download option, whichever it is to start the download process. As the app is downloading, I will ask you to hit the subscribe button. It will hardly take a second, guys. All right, our app is now installed. But now what I want you to do is leave the app as it is for now, because to be able to install apps through the Downloader app, we need to change a few settings on our Fire Stick. So I'll be pressing the home button. Now we need to go all the way to the right where you will find the settings option. By selecting it, you'll get a drop down menu. You'll need to select my Fire TV from the options. Here we will select the first option, which says about. There you go. It says here Fire Stick 4K Max, which is actually the Fire Stick model I'm using. But this process works on all the Fire Stick models, so you don't have to worry about that. What we need to do, and I want you to pay close attention here, is that we need to click on this option, Fire Stick 4K Max, seven times continuously, and I'm going to do that right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once you do that, this is the message that will be displayed on your screen. It says here, no need, you are already a developer. As soon as you see this message, that means you've done this step correctly. Now you'll need to press back just once, and you'll notice that a new setting has been added to the list developer options. This option appears after completing the previous step, so we need to now select developer options and then go to install unknown apps. Here is our downloader app and the permission has been turned off. What we'll do is turn this permission on so that downloader app can indeed install apps for us on our device. So let's turn that on now. So now all the settings have been implemented. Let's press the home button. And a lot of people have been asking me, where do we find the newly installed apps on our Fire Stick? So for that, you need to scroll to the right to this icon here beside the settings icon. This is a list of all your installed apps. Remember, all the newly installed apps always go to the bottom of this page. So head over down and there you go. There's our downloader app. Select it. So the first time you launch the downloader app, it will ask you to accept the necessary permissions that it needs to work properly. So I'll just press allow and then OK. Here you can see a search bar. Uh, what you need to do is select it and then type this short code, 730116. This is a short code for my website's downloader page where I've compiled more than 200 apps in different categories altogether for your convenience. We need to find Cody from the list here, so scroll all the way down to the IPTV and media player category. There's the Kodi app. To install it, you just need to click on it once and it will start downloading automatically. Once it ends, a pop-up will ask you to install the app. So just click on install. And just like that, our Kodi app is now installed on our Fire Stick. Click done and now press delete to remove the APK files. Don't worry, these are just installer files, and deleting them will not delete the app that we just downloaded. I want to emphasize here again that this tutorial will only work on the latest Kodi version, 21.2, and not the previous versions. So if you already have Kodi installed on your device, you'll need to check what version it is. Okay, so now press the home button, and this time make sure to connect to your VPN, as we are using a third-party app here, so it's always better to stay protected. Um, if you don't have a VPN, then you can get one for a discount with my link provided in the description, which supports unlimited device connection. 
Now we will again need to go to the apps menu and launch the Kodi app, which will be all the way to the bottom of the list. There it is. I will press continue and allow all the required permissions. Guys, welcome to Kodi 21.2 Omega. Now I want you to know that this version of Kodi doesn't have movies, live TV, sports, or anything. But if you will stick with me for a couple more minutes, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step everything that we're going to need to do to make this a fully loaded Kodi with all of the entertainment. So the first thing we need to do is select the gear icon on top here, and then we need to go to the settings option all the way to the right. Slide down to where it says add-ons, then go to the right half of the screen like this, and we're going to slide down and click where it says unknown sources, and finally click yes. That's all the settings we need to change here. Now press the back button, and then scroll over to where it says file manager. Here we need to add a source, so click the center button one more time, and it's going to bring up a keypad for you to type in a URL. You need to enter this address exactly like it is here. A lot of people comment later that the process doesn't work. That's because almost all of them have spelled something wrong in the address. I am going to start typing the address now, and you can follow along. Remember after you type HTTP, in order to write a colon, select the arrow here, which will turn this semicolon into a colon. Now watch along as I enter the whole URL into the keypad. We will write tinyurl.com forward slash digs123. All right, I have written the whole address down. Make sure to double check the spelling and everything and then go ahead and press okay. You'll notice it has already named this digs123 for us. So once we see all this, we're going to click okay. Now, for whatever reason, this did not work for you. Then there's no need to panic. Go back and rewrite the whole URL again because you've probably misspelled something there. Now we will need to click the back button once again and then select the option which says add-ons. We will scroll down and select install from a zip file. Remember we want digs123, so click on that. And from here, you need to select repository digs. Now just wait a couple of seconds after which you will see a pop-up saying the zip file has been installed. Now scroll up and select the option install from repository. Here we will select Digs Repository. Now scroll down to select Program Add-ons. And then we want the Chef Omega Wizard. Click right there where it says Install, and then finally click OK. If something's too fast for you, pause the video for your convenience. Now as it is downloading, the screen may blink and flash a couple of times, which is completely normal. Once it finishes blinking, that means it's installed the program. And you'll see right there, it says add-on installed. Give your system just a second. Don't push any buttons. A big pop-up will appear. This is the one I am talking about. Just click your center button. Another pop-up will appear asking you to install a build. We will slide over and click yes. So, we want to now install a build. Here is the list of all of the different builds that are available for you to install. You can install any of them. I am going to install the Digs Xenon Free. We're going to click our center button. Now, slide over and click Continue. Alright guys, the downloading process has now begun. It may take a couple of minutes for it to download and then install. I am going to fast forward this process. Now, when the installation has finished, you'll see this pop-up which will ask you to force close Kodi. So, all you need to do is select OK and the app will force close. Now, reopen Kodi once again, but this time it will not be the same Kodi you saw last time. Now, you're going to have the fully loaded Xenon build, giving you all of your movies, TV shows, sporting events, live pay-per-view, 
anime, news, live TV, and so much more, and is completely packed with every piece of entertainment that you're looking for. If this video has helped you out, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, and turn on the notification bell for more of the same amazing content. I'll see you in the next one soon.